Okay, it's week 29 and Steve has put in these um, fence posts here. So he's just started. You can see uh, alongside our neighbour's new decking that's still in progress. And um, yeah, so he's, brought, he's got a couple more holes to dig. Um, when you get down here, so he can't do this bit until obviously these trees have got them. He didn't want to go too close to it so that there's enough room for the sea surgeons. And then I have set myself a little goal and gone out and bought some paint. So I don't know if it's going to be enough or I have to get more, but I've got the Easy Care Washable Tough Polished Pebble um, paint, which you can. Um, you can literally wipe it down with a wet cloth and I'm going to do the inside of the beauty room because um, it's fairly empty. I need to move our cushions from our patio furniture and a couple of other little tiny, you know, little bits and then I'm going to get tackling this. Now I have experience of uh, decorating a summer house because I did that exact colour and that exact paint in our last house where we had a summer house and we, it was just our rental. Our landlord said it was okay for us to do it so we painted it and it came up nice but I know from the outside of the building and from doing one before that you can't use a roller because look just constant grooves so and all the knots and everything else so uh, yeah I think uh, it's not going to be a quick one roller it on done <laughs> so I will uh, I'll give it a start today and see how I get on So I've just decided to uh, use the primer, the Protex, uh, well the Protex paint as a primer just to protect the knots because as you can see there's just tons and tons of knots and I'm in my last summer house when I painted it with the paint that I'm using to, um, for this one it was fine but I could see in some of the bigger more sort of oily knots uh, or sap, more, a little bit of sap or oil was seeping through a little bit. And I mean, how many knots there is here, it could really be quite a spotty wall if I did that. And it's not just that wall, it's all of them. They're, it's the whole way around, it's very knotty. Um, so um, I'm just gonna go over with the Protex paint, just on the knots, and then once they've all had a little bit over the knots, and then there's much, only so much I can do, but hopefully that will just help to stop the sap coming through and ruining the effect of the final paint. So this is the end of uh doing it for an entire day so um, this is one coat of Dulux um, polished pebble um, which is the colour I had in my last beauty room it's just a nice pale grey soft and warm not too too cold a grey um, so that's one coat so it's covered much quicker and much better than the um, Protex did on the outside. It was much thicker paint, but you can sort of see the roof, you can see all the splodges. That, that's the Protex that I put all over the knots, hoping, and that's underneath the walls as well. There's spots everywhere covering. Um, sorry, it's really out of focus. There you go. Um, so you can see it's one coat, you, but you can actually very good coverage for one coat, and I will obviously go back. I think only one more coat, I'm hoping. Um, I've used about two, mm, yeah, maybe about half a tin of the um, Dulux. So um, that was a big tin, so a five litre, I think. So I'll have to, I probably will have to get some more. Um, I think I've got enough to do the roof, one coat on the roof, and then I'll have to get maybe a, another tin to do the second coat, we'll see how we go. It's always good to have some left over anyway because obviously any scuffs or anything like that. But I'm really pleased with the progress and I'm feeling like it's um, starting to look like a beauty room rather than a shed or a sauna. <laughs> All right, okay, bye.